Mark Cook, and I am super excited right now to be talking to one of the top female boxers in the world, Jenny Fuchs. Jenny, how are you this morning? I'm doing good, Mark. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So, first things first, the Olympics. How are we looking? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely. That last part was the part that I liked. You're definitely going to Rio for sure. Because, actually, you were in Rio not too long ago uh, right. kicking butt and taking names. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, about that tournament? Yeah, it was the um, Olympic Test event. They have that for all the sports. And it's just kind of like a run-through of the Olympics. So, I was um, yeah, I got gold in that tournament. And I fought India and Great Britain. So, that kind of put my name on the stage of the world because, you know, no one really knew who I was because I, I hadn't really been to many interna international tournaments because the girl that has been number one has, you know, I lost to her five, five times, but I beat her in the Olympic trials twice and uh, got that got that spot on the, Olympic, on the Olympic team. Yeah, well, you and her have had a little bit of a battle over the years and she uh, seemed to have your number, but when it mattered... Ginny was the one that came out victorious, and that's really, uh, it's really quite an amazing thing. And your story is really interesting. You didn't actually start boxing until you were in college, right? Correct, yeah, when I was going to LSU. Uh, Tiger, huh? So you had to be uh, excited You had to be excited about Shaq getting in the uh, Hall of Fame this week, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, but... You know, on top of, uh, you know, when you became a boxer when you were in college, you, you know, it was really kind of out of a uh, fitness thing, right? It was more of trying to live right. a healthier lifestyle? Right. I had uh, met a, a guy who was a professional boxer, and I got to watch him train for one of his fights. And, you know, I, you know, I was really interested in the training, and I asked him if he could take me to the gym where he started as amateur. You know, I kind of wanted to learn, you know, and really get back in shape. So uh, when he took me to the gym, I picked it up really, really fast. And the coach there, you know, uh, was watching me and came up to me and, and he said, I see a lot of potential in you. Do you would you like to uh, compete and fight? Uh, and I was like, sure. Immediately, I was like, yeah, I want to do this because I just fell in love with it right away. So we started training and uh, had my first fight probably about six months later and kept fighting and then just got to the national level. That's pretty awesome. And I'll tell you, it, what's really amazing to me is that you're a very attractive young lady. So well, <laughs> entering the boxing ring, you know, don't we worry about some of those facial features or, or whatever. You are just so on top of your game that you don't ever worry about taking a right cross to the, uh, to the cheek. No, I don't, I don't worry about that. And, you know, that comes with the sport, so I'm going to get hit. But, you know, I it's, that doesn't bother me if anything when I get hit. It makes me more motivated during the fight. And, you know, I, I'm, uh, I always work on defense every day. That's right. Uh, cause, yeah. You got to move, you got to move like the butterfly, right? You got to move like the butterfly, sting like the bee. I mean, look, these aid, these old adages, they're, they're in place for a reason, right? Cause that's how you win. Uh, that's how you win matches. I'm so excited because, because now I've got a, a uh, I, I've got a female boxer to root for. Um, and listen, we all want USA boxing to do well, but. Me personally, I'm super excited for the Olympics now because when I get to watch Ginny Fuchs, you know, beat up on all of her competition, I'm going to be able to say that I got to talk to you uh, for like 10 awesome minutes, uh, you know, in the months leading up to it. How exciting is that? Very appreciated. <laughs> very exciting. We have a really, really good women's team. All, all three of us girls are, have been, it is going to be good. It's going to be a good year for us. Well, and it's exciting because you guys are actually going to finally get to showcase the sport on the world stage and how the right. United States females are going to be leading the forefront of, of boxing in the international competition. Right. The, um, you know, the other thing is I, I wanted to talk to you about, about your fitness a little bit. You're also a, uh, a, a trainer, right? So when you're not in the box, I'm sorry. training um on the side because i couldn't really have a full job because boxing is my main career and when i was number two you know we we get stipend 
money, but not enough to really make it. So, yeah, I picked up personal training, and, and I, I don't see why my degree was kinesiology, so, um, you know, I, I fell into that pretty easy and pretty quick. And, um, you know, I still do it when I go back home. I still see my clients and train them, so I'll keep that up. Well, that's, uh, I mean, it's a great way to kind of uh, share your knowledge of, of, you know, how to take care of your body and all the stuff that you learned in college. It's a great way to kind of share that with uh, some regular folk that don't get to uh, enter the ring on the level that you do. That's pretty cool. Right. That's pretty neat. Boxing taught me, you know, more about nutrition and how to take care of your body to perform. Or to uh, you know whatever whatever you your workout is that day, what you need as fuel to um, do it at your best. So boxing taught me a lot too about um, just um, personal uh, health in general. That's cool. Now you know we're um, we're based in the Philadelphia area, so we like to root for a fictitious boxer that we all related with that we think is probably the greatest boxer that has never actually boxed in real life, and that's Rocky Balboa. So if I can kind of figure out a way to look, Rocky was an underdog and I, I don't want to say that you're an underdog because I think that, you know, quite frankly, if I'm going to be a betting man, you're going to be my favorite and you're going to be the one that I'm betting on to win. But how does that underdog story play in, in boxing? You know, more specifically on the female side, you guys are already at a disadvantage because it's such a male dominated sport. You know, what, right. you guys are not only fighting in the ring, but you're fighting for uh, a little bit of positioning in the um, sports world as well. Right. Um, and it's gotten better over the years. Um, like when I first started boxing, we weren't getting the same treatment as the men. We were kind of, kind of, you know, pushed away. When I started boxing, women, boxing, uh, women weren't able to compete in the Olympics. And then in 2010, they announced it. So. It, it's motivated all us women to, you know, push harder and and speak up for what we deserve and what we need. If we want to, if we want to perform at the world class level, we need the same treatment as the guys. And, see, and people are starting to see that women women can fight, and when we get in there, we don't play around. And, and you know, we're we're actually really really entertaining. I've I've talked to more coaches. Um, and they, they said we, they love working with women because we listen a little bit better. <laughs> you know, we, we, go, we, go, we perform what we've talked about before the fight or, you know, what they tell us in the corner. We go and do exactly what they say. So we're getting a lot more recognition because of, because of how we handle ourselves and, that we're, and we're speaking out more. That's great. And that's, uh, you know what, and that's really the right way to approach it to try to grow your side of the sport, which is really cool. But Ginny, I want to tell you that it's been my experience that I know uh, most of the women I have encountered, uh, they can fight as well. It's a different type of fighting, but you know, let's, uh, right. let's just make that clear. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So listen, I want everybody out there to go check out Ginny's website. I'm going to put that up on the screen right now for you and let's root for Ginny as she makes her push to make the Olympics in Rio in 2016. Good luck in Kazakhstan, Ginny. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, Mark. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Thanks. That was Ginny Fuchs right here on